Hey, what up YouTube? Anton here. So today we're gonna do something a little different. I now have not just one, but two bachelor degrees. And now as a third year pharmacy student, I'd like to give you some advice on college and how to be the best student that you can be. Because when I first started out, I really had no idea what I was doing. As my classes got more and more demanding, I found that my usual way of studying and keeping on top of things just wasn't getting the job done. So here are five quick tips on how you can study better and get the most out of college. You have to be active in class. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be a gunner. If you don't know what that is, a gunner is someone who tries too hard, overly exceeds minimum expectations, and raises and tries to answer every single question that the professor asks, whether they know the right answer or not. Now, we've all had classes where there are people like that, and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to have motivation, but you can definitely overkill it a lot. So then, how can you be active without being a nuisance to the rest of your classmates? Tip number one, sit in the first few rows. And yeah, I know, it seems like I'm leading you on the path to gunnerism, but hear me out on this one. It's more difficult to hear the professor, there are a lot more distractions in the back, and when you actually have a question, it's a lot harder to be speaking from the back of the room than to be right in front of the professor. If you have friends in the class, then obviously don't ditch your friends, but if you're all by yourself, seriously consider sitting in the front. You don't have to sit in the first row center, the second and third rows are sufficient. And don't feel like you're a nerd or anything, because the social hierarchies of high school are long gone. This is college now. You're paying thousands of dollars to be in that seat, so make the most of it. Tip number two, ask questions. I don't actually mean that you have to speak up. This is a technique that I came up with to help me pay attention better. I had this class where this professor would randomly call out our names and drill us questions on random material. Sounds scary? It was. But I was really surprised at how much I actually paid attention and retained information with it. So how this technique would work in other classes is every time the professor goes over a PowerPoint slide, before he finishes that slide, you will try to come up with a question or some kind of insight and at the end of that slide, the professor is going to call on you and you're going to have to speak up. Look around your classroom and imagine like you're going to stand up and speak up for real. Keep the question pertinent to the material that you're going over and you'd be surprised how well this actually helps you pay attention to the material. This is active listening and if you spend the time to develop this skill, the questions that you come up with will get better and better. Tip number three, be organized and that means getting a planner, whether it's a book or on your phone. If you haven't seen the review of Fantastic Cal, that's my planner app. Check it out at the link right here. You will have to spend some time at the beginning of every semester with your class syllabus and enter in dates of exams, homework, projects, whatever. It's kind of a drag to do, but being able to plan out your study strategy is something that's very important. If you have four exams in one week, then you should probably be studying ahead of time. Look ahead in your schedule so you can see when good weeks and bad weeks are so you can spend the time to study ahead for the bad week. This leads me to tip number four, which is prioritize. You should really know what your own strengths and weaknesses are. Maybe you're good at math, but not so good at biology. Plan ahead and start reviewing bio early on. It's a lot easier to spend half an hour every couple of days to review versus trying to cram for the exam an hour before. Cramming puts information into your short-term memory, but college is about building on information that you already know. Higher level classes are basically the same information, so if you have a shaky foundation, then it's really hard to build a stable structure on top of it. And you're going to be wasting a lot of time trying to learn what you already should have known for the next few classes. And tip number five, stay healthy. This is one of those duh points, but it's one that a lot of us overlook. How many of us actually get enough sleep anyways, or sleep regular hours? I know I don't a lot of the time. I'll get these bouts of insomnia once in a while that'll throw off my sleeping patterns completely. And it's really difficult to pay attention in class when you don't have enough sleep. Try to get eight hours of sleep every day, and when it gets dark, it's time to put your phone or tablet away. I read this study where the light from a computer actually tricks your brain into thinking that it's still daylight and it keeps you awake. Another thing that helps me sleep well is if I go to the gym earlier that day. I think humans just have like a certain amount of energy every day that they have to burn off and if they don't, it just stays there and makes you not tired at night. I'm kind of weird but I'll go to the gym late late at night if I've skipped the gym that day in order to go to sleep because if I don't go, I'll just get anxious and easily annoyed at people and at night I won't be able to sleep. 
finally, what you eat affects how you feel during the day. Try to eat more fresh foods and avoid processed or fried foods. It's okay to eat them once in a while, but if you make a habit of it, they will make you feel less energized during the day. The topic of staying healthy I can make hundreds of videos on, but the general gist of it is if you stay healthy, it's gonna help you in pretty much every single other aspect of your life, including studying. So that was five quick tips on becoming a better student. It's not just about studying, it's the whole package. Being alert, being aware, and it seems like common sense, but it's a lot of things that we don't really think about on a daily basis. If you guys have any questions on specific topics like college advice or studying techniques, go ahead and ask me in the comments. This was a part of my new life hack series, and if you liked it, let me know. Throw me a thumbs up, and if you subscribe to my channel, that would really mean a lot to me too. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. This is Anton. Take it easy.